All right, well, a lot of people believe when all the light heavyweights are at their best that Magomed Ankalaev is the best in the world. Had that draw with Jan Bohovic, but no denying the accolades and the skills of one Magomed Ankalaev. Oh, he's the boogeyman. This guy is the boogeyman. This guy keeps you up at night. This guy is Freddy Krueger. Right. Whenever you go to bed and your eyes shut, he can do everything. He's a tremendous striker, and if things start to go wrong in the striking realm, he has unbelievable wrestling. He is as good as they come and seems to be a guy that's going to linger on the top of the light heavyweight division for a long time. Of course, he came perilously close to winning the title, that split draw with Jan Bohovic at UFC 282. Ankalaev with another huge fight in front of him here tonight. Well, there's always a special feeling when Kamzat Shumayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Kamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectation set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Magomed Agalaya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Hamzat Bosch Jemaya! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and if we had a fantasy draft for light heavyweights, perhaps Magomed Ankalaev would be the number one pick right now. Fan base absolutely bullish on this man's future. Pretty good test in front of him tonight, a good litmus test to see where he's at relative to the truly elite fighters in this division. High impact takedown for Hamzat Shumayev early, and clearly he's taking the path of least resistance tonight. I watch Hamzat Shumayev, and I'm always amazed at his ability to not only get takedowns, but get them so easily, and it seems like it takes so little effort to get the fight to the ground. He will tell you what he's going to do, and he is constantly doing exactly that. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Ankalaev. Oh, he got to a spot. Ankalaev's in half guard. Oh, the ground and pound is there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Nice transition. Oh. 
Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chimaev. There it is, now he's running him out. Excellent ground and pound there by Chimaev. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Working hard to finish this rear naked choke. He's doing a really good job of trying to get that choke on under the neck. Then he'll lock his hands to get that finish. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, he's got his back. Under a minute now to go. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Shimaev's right back to the full mount. This is a terrible position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Good work from the top here by Chimaya. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Set up those takedowns with your strike. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. Ready. Round two is on the way. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, left hook. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Single. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Shimaev's in half guard now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. Work, that out. is great submission defense. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. That's a beautiful body kick. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, pop. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a darts choke. That darts choke is tight. It looks like the darts choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his head. Oh, God, he's out. He's out. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Hamza Chimaev. 
Huh. Ten minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Shemaev's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? Round three of a possible five. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh! He's wobbling now. Looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. He's got that single collar tie. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, nice little change. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chimaya. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. to go in round three. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Hamza Chimaya. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. The hard ground upon is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Ankalaya. the beginning of the end. Now he's going full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship <laughs> rounds. All right, sit down and relax, man. That was really good work. Way to control him on the ground. Stay nice and relaxed, and let's get out there and let's do more of the same. I want you to set your takedowns up with your strike. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of fight. wrestling for as Ready. long as he has done this. Good. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, 
beautifully placed shot to the leg. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Hamza Chimai. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, and he's out. Right into side control. He's got to be careful here. She might have been half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Great defense by this fighter. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Right. 20 minutes down. Stop, 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 potentially stop. five to go. All right, man. Doing great, okay? We've got this fight in the back, but I do not want you to pull off at all. I want you to keep the pressure on. Fight smart. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. Ready, that fight. submission was in Ready. deep, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Oh, and he escapes up to him. Oh, nice judo toss for him there. Oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch is in. Oh! Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What the fuck? to his feet. Oh, massive kick to the body. Oh, oh. That'll do it. Pops up to my head. One and done. Holy smokes.
And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hamza Bors Kamal.